Hey guys, Cody with Rattlesnake Ranch here. We got a really cool video for you today. Uh, we just wrapped up a phenomenal conference at the Chiricahua Desert Museum, um, which is in Rodeo, New Mexico. I'm currently sitting in the Chiricahua Mountains, which is right on the other side of the border in Arizona. But yeah, this is a really special place. The conference was phenomenal. We're gonna talk all about it and show you what we saw, what we learned. So stick around, hope you enjoy watching. So first I'll talk about, uh, again, just where I'm sitting right now. We're in the Chiricahua Mountains. Uh, this is one of the Sky Island mountain zones. There's some really cool uh, herps out here, birds, tons of wildlife. We saw lots of wildlife every time we were driving around. Um, we actually stayed in an Airbnb that is uh, right in the, the mountains with National Forest just on the other side of the driveway. Really cool spot. So yeah, special part of the country, kind of the boot hill part of New Mexico, Arizona border. It's just a phenomenal place. Highly recommend visiting if you can make it out here. Definitely is very remote out here though. There's very little cell service, um, very little civilization too, which is partly why I like it. So I'll talk a little more about this conference. So we just uh, attended the Biology at Pit Vipers 5 conference. Um, the museum holds multiple conferences. Um, you know, each year there seems to be something going on. But yeah, this year was Biology of Pit Vipers, which as you guys know, is right up my alley. And uh, it was wonderful. Um, some absolute legends when it comes to herpetology uh, research. Um, I mean, it's hard to, it was kind of a drink from the fire hydrant. I mean, it was basically back-to-back -back presentations um, all about uh, anything pertaining to pit vipers. Um, what also made it pretty special is I actually got a chance to speak at it as well. We talked about our dog training program and I also talked about our zoo and some of the activities that we're doing there. So that was a pretty cool privilege. People from around the country, uh, around the world even, uh, came to this conference and uh, just a great time. It's an absolute wonderful networking opportunity. I met Lots of new friends and connected with some old friends, collaborators, and uh, these conferences always get my brain stirring too when it comes to uh, new research and things that we wanna try. The other thing I wanna talk about is um, the, the venue. So the Chiricahua Desert Museum is just a really cool place. Um, beautiful displays, loaded with art, loaded with photography, with um, taxidermy, with uh, like, things like model replicas of uh, animals, snakes, lizards. Um, they do have live exhibits as, as well. We've got lots of rattlesnakes and other native uh, reptiles to, to this general region. Um, they've got on display and pretty exhibits. They've got all sorts of really unique collections, things like old snake bite kits. They have, um, trying to think what else we, we saw cabinets just full of uh, various alcohol like beverages that were you know venom or snake or reptile related that was kind of fun to see some good historic stuff um, some tributes to long past herpetologists lots of neat stuff there seems like every inch of wall there is just some original artwork which is really neat um, yeah in addition to the you know, art, educational displays. They have some outdoor stuff too. Um, there's a 
fun botanical garden. And just within seconds of walking in, we saw a horned lizard, a chuckwalla. Um, there's a little stream that cuts through it and they've got some turtles in there. Uh, lots of cactus and native vegetation. So that's another little part. I've actually been to the museum a couple of times. I never bothered to walk around in there. And so that was something I actually did this time. Uh, the museum is obviously a highlight, but the gift shop is actually really cool too. They've got a lot of neat stuff in there. Um, probably more than half of our library at our facility now at Rattlesnake Ranch. Uh, most of the books I have are from um, the Chiricahua Desert Museum's bookstore. Um, they've got art prints in there too, so a lot of Tel Hicks arts, and um, there's some other stuff as well, all sorts of knickknacks and um, plushies, you know, you name it. Really impressive gift shop. The other thing that's on site is the Library of Herpetology. They're actually still wrapping that up, but the building's done. Um, they're starting to categorize and organize all the books. Um, as far as I know, it's gonna be a free resource for researchers to, to access this library. And uh, it's a beautiful building, um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was cool during this conference, um, Gordon Shewitt allowed us to have our uh, booth um, at this. So we actually had our t-shirts and hats and things for sale there. And we saw uh, our famous red salvini or Humantlin rattlesnake that Adeline Robinson painted. Um, the original piece is inside uh, the, the library there. The other thing I'll mention, uh, the Airbnb that we stayed at uh, was awesome. It was called Canyon View Cottage and it's owned by Joy and uh, Ray. They were awesome people, super fascinating. I had a lot of fun with them. Um, yeah, their, their space was great. The view from this place was absolutely phenomenal. We had an amazing view of the mountains all around us. Um, we spent very little time at the Airbnb because obviously we were at the conference every day. But um, yeah, it, it's a, it was a pretty special place. Made some new friends there as well. And I'm definitely jealous of that view. The other thing, uh, every chance we got, you know, after conferences were over and we got food in our bellies, we hit the roads looking for snakes. And uh, we definitely did very well. Uh, we did a little hiking around too, but on top of the tons of wildlife we saw, um, we saw, I'm trying to think of how many snake species we saw. I mean, about, about a dozen or so. We saw long nosed snakes, night snakes, uh, on our very first night driving to the Airbnb, we got a green rat snake in the road. That was pretty awesome. We got, um, of course, rattlesnakes. We found some diamondbacks, including a neonate, as well as one of the bigger ones I've seen. We also saw some Mojave rattlesnakes. Um, we got a Texas horn lizard. We saw some other stuff, didn't film at all, but we got some you know, desert centipedes. We got some other colubrids, a uh, patch nose snake. We got my first uh, Mexican hognose snake. That was pretty awesome. Um, we got a checkered garter snake. Lots of different snake species. So the herping was definitely good to us during this trip. So yeah, I guess I'll kind of add to this. Um, thank you so much to Bob, uh, Bob Ashley, Gordon Shewitt for uh, inviting me to be a speaker at the conference that was special but thanks so much for putting on these conferences they are wonderful it's so cool seeing so many people enthusiastic about pit vipers uh, coming together in one place and um, you know across all differences and and space and age and personalities but yeah thank you guys so much for what you do for all the work you put into making these happen uh, it's such a pleasure to be a part of it and to be able to attend it uh, Logan and I had a fantastic time. Um, again, to Joy and Ray Mendez, thanks for letting us crash at your place. We absolutely loved it. To all the wild reptiles on the roads that let us harass them for a little bit for some photos. I guess I'll thank them too. But yeah, it's time for me to uh, get back to the ranch. Um, we just pulled over for a second to, to film this. Maybe one last ditch effort to find a banded rock rattlesnake. But it's getting a little hot and we're running out of time, so we'll probably hit the road. All right. Catch you guys at the next video. Thanks for watching. If you ever get a chance, visit the Chiricahua Desert Museum in New Mexico. Later. <laughs>